Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We are doing a series on the Islamic Ethical Code. We are uh, trying to study the Islamic teachings on our uh, practices. Many times we believe that we have the best belief, but we don't need to practice. Uh, practice is the key for having the correct belief. Sometimes you have, there is something wrong in your belief. That's why you're not practicing. So in this series, we are trying to uh, make people realize that we need to have some good uh, ethics. And we are studying the sermon of Imam Ali alayhi salam where he in Khudat al-Wasila describes the good conduct and the good characteristics that a believing person must possess. And today we'll talk about one of the characteristics where Imam Ali alayhi salam says, Man takabbar ala nas um, Whoever has arrogance over other people, uh, then he is disgraced. Now, pride or arrogance is something uh, negative in Islam. Takabbur, um, as we call it in, in Arabic, takabbur is only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, one of the names of Allah is Al-Mutakabbir. He is the proud. Allah is proud because there is no one better than Allah. Allah is the greatest. He is the highest. And therefore, it is only, it uh, seems correct for him. Even the Holy Prophet وسلم, and Imam Ali salam. Even they were not arrogant, even they did not have any pride, they did not have any fakhr over other people that I'm better than you. They were very modest, they were very humble. And it was the akhlaq of the Holy Prophet that uh, attracted the people and the Sahaba. Um, so the Holy Prophet وسلم, never was arrogant to other people and did not feel I'm better than you because of this. Um, there are other words, uh, like Allah has used the word uh, istikbar for shaitan, abam was takbar. Istikbar and takabur, two Arabic terms. Takabur is pride or, and istikbar is also pride. But takabur is when you have something and you're proud over it. And istikbar is when you don't have something and you're proud. So shaitan did not have anything when he was talking to God. He did not have anything. Obviously when you're talking to God, you have nothing. Whatever you have is, is given to you by God. So takabur is when you have something. When someone has wealth or position or looks or whatever and they are proud over what they have that is called takabur in arabic and no one should be proud of what they have because it's a gift of god there are some traditions that indicate that if there is a person who is arrogant then you must not put yourself down before them you should not be humble or modest before them because that makes them more proud so if a person uh, is arrogant because of their position, because if a person is a king or has a big position, a big great politician, if you, are, if you put yourself down before them, then they, they become more arrogant. So don't put yourself down before them. So a takabur ma'al mutakabbir and a tawadu ma'al mutawadi. If you um, go to a person who is humble, then be humble to them. And if you go to a person who is uh, uh, proud, then be proud in front of them. So it is extremely important that we try and um, uh, rid ourselves from arrogance. What are the things uh, that uh, self-admiration makes you, you know, uh, makes you arrogant? Self-admiration, when you admire yourself, I'm very good. I'm very nice looking, I'm very learned, I'm very uh, wealthy, I'm very... Um, big in position or in society my rank is very high I am a known person famous whatever because of those things you may feel uh, arrogant so self-admiration is the key hubbun nafs as they call it in Arabic hubbun nafs or self-admiration is the key for arrogance so don't admire yourself how do you rid yourself of, of arrogance there are a number of things. A lot of the people who are arrogant, they like to dress up very nice, you know, like very expensive clothing. Don't wear expensive clothing to rid yourself of arrogance and self-admiration. Um, second, sit on the floor and eat. So sitting on high positions and high places sometimes makes a person arrogant. So sit on the floor and eat. That is uh, a lesson from Salman, Salman al-Farisi or Salman al-Muhammadi. Uh, he said, I don't wear new clothes because it makes you arrogant. And secondly, I always sit on the floor and eat. Uh, one of the other things that helps in stopping you from arrogance is 
allowing other people to speak before you. So many people who have arrogance, they always say, don't you know who is speaking? I'm talking, listen to me, don't talk before me. So always say, yes, uh, you're about to say something. Allow others to speak before you. Um, don't sit on a higher position with your friends and colleagues. Try and sit on a similar position, on, on a similar level when sitting you know, together. Don't always try and grab the main seat and the main uh, you know, sitting arrangement um, to feel that I'm the king or I'm better than the others and therefore I need to get the best position or the best seat. So allow the others to, to, to take a seat uh, which is a better seat. Uh, many scholars also say that uh, try and speak in a low voice. Um, you know, when you're shouting at other people and when you're talking in a high tone, then you are trying to tell them that I am better than you. Uh, so spoke, speaking in a low tone, in a low voice is very uh, humbling rather than speaking in a high tone. Um, one of the key things to do in life is to not uh, eat uh, very expensive things, you know, things which are uh, which other people can't afford. You know, try and eat um, simple food. Don't have too much variety in your food. It makes you arrogant and you feel I'm better. I deserve it more than others. So try and tell yourself there are poor people who deserve it more than you. Um, there are many, many lessons in life to learn. Um, reminding yourself that we are going to die one day. Will, will help in many, stopping you from many, many sins, and one of them is arrogance. Many people who have arrogance, they walk uh, with shoulders up and, you know, stuck up, and they walk with feet, you know, like uh, hitting the ground. So the Holy Prophet says, always softly place your foot on the ground. You know, the Holy Prophet never hit his foot on the ground. Slowly place it on the ground, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he always had his shoulders, uh, you know, down, and, and, you know, he held himself together when holding your clothes together, rather than um, walking uh, with shoulders up and head up and, uh, and walking in a way like uh, arrogant people, you know, people who are full of uh, pride and arrogance. That's not uh, liked in Islam. So always try and put yourself down and, and show respect to others. Even with children, uh, try and do salam to others. That stops you from arrogance. You always feel that others should do salam to me. That's arrogance. The Holy Prophet ﷺ used to always do salam to even the children, uh, to all the Sahaba. No one ever did salam to him for, you know, like he did not allow and wait for the other people to do salam to him. He would try and, he would always try and do salam first. Uh, so it is extremely important that you try and do salam to the oldest first because they have more good deeds and try and do salam to the youngest first because they have less sins. Um, so always try and feel that the others are better than you. If you feel that I'm better than the others and you will have arrogance. So there are many different things that we can do to, uh, to stop our arrogance and to, to, to control our arrogance. And one of the main things is to, um, to continuously tell ourselves that even if I have something that the others don't have, I have something like wealth or name or fame or whatever. It is for a reason Allah has given me this to use it properly rather than feeling pride over it. Allah has given it to me and Allah may take it away from me if I'm arrogant. Allah takes away many other things, your tawfiqat, your, the, the gifts that He's given you, the blessings. He takes them away if you feel uh, arrogant about them, if you are very proud. It takes away many things. Your looks will be lost. You will become old and you will not be as nice looking as you are when you're younger. So it is extremely important that you don't feel uh, uh, proud uh, over what you, what you have. Especially the things that are gifts of God. Well, everything is a gift of God. Even materialistic things that you have, a big house, a good car, wealth, it may, you may lose them and good memory, knowledge and whatever, you may lose your memory, you may lose your knowledge, you may lose your name and you... So everything is a gift of God and you should thank God for it rather than becoming arrogant. And arrogance is a sign that you are not thankful, you are being unthankful for what you have. So it is important that you uh, learn a lesson from uh, others and, and don't feel uh, 
superior to others. Superiority complex destroys your personality, destroys your reputation, and destroys uh, the blessings that you have from God. So all three things will be the cause of a decline in your, um, uh, in your popularity. So therefore, don't feel arrogant about what you have, but feel humbled for what you have, that oh, how blessed I am. Thank Allah that He has given you so much in terms of wealth or whatever He has given you. Thank Him for it, rather than feeling better than others. And finally, I would like to say that uh, whatever we have, um, it is a, an amana. It is an endowment from God. We should not misuse our position, our wealth, our uh, name, anything that we have, knowledge, we should not misuse it. Using it properly would mean that it remains with us for a very long time, for eternity, in this world and the hereafter. It will always remain with us. But if we misuse what we have, then not only we will lose it, but it will become a calamity. It will become a problem for us. The same uh, gift of God we are feeling proud about will become a means of uh, 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 neglect or a means of uh, um, a defamation for you. It may cause you bad name. It may cause you to uh, have bad, bad reputation. So it is always important that you thank Allah for it rather than complain uh, in a way that through your actions, complain to, to, through your actions by feeling arrogant. Uh, it was shaitan who lost everything because of arrogance. He felt that he was better than Adam and he lost everything he had. So please do not destroy everything through having arrogance. Thank you for listening.